folks here we are at the Albion gun shop and uh, this is a nice turnout literally hundreds of people here uh, what, what a great turnout that these people came from uh, locally and all over the state uh, to support the rights of Joe Palumbo and others around the state New York is using our tax dollars to turn us into criminals what we find ourselves living under is tyranny pure and simple the intrusion into Joe's business and disruption to his life and the lives of his customers is close to home for all of us. It is our greatest fears come to fruition. The vast majority of Second Amendment supporters are well aware of a comment made by Cuomo stating that confiscation could be an option. What brought you out here today in Albany, Albion, New York? Well, I'm, I, I came out because of the, uh, um, the unconstitutional thing that happened to Joe Palumbo. I drove five and a half hours out here to show my support and to uh, make a stand because uh, too many people don't make a stand. They're too busy watching football, um, worried about their lives. Um, when, when in reality, these are the things you have to do if you want to make a difference. I agree. Danny, what brought you out here today? What brought me out here today is to fight for our freedoms. Our freedoms are slowly being taken away by all these laws being passed by tyrants in office, and we need to step up to the plate and do something about it. Tell me a little bit about, in your own words, about you know how this happened and, and what is your opinion on this, really? Well, about a week and a half ago, a uh, state police undercover guy with the narcotics division came into the store, uh, introduced himself, explained who he was. Uh, I had remembered him. He was a customer of mine. Uh, he went through and explained. They were under orders to come in, get all my records of all modified AR-15s. They had deemed that the bullet button and MR2 modifications were now illegal in New York. Prior to that, we had spoken to New York State Gun Hotline, numerous law enforcement agents, including uh, county sheriffs, other state police officers in two different barracks, uh, county district attorneys. Uh, you name the department, we've spoken to them. They had all been saying, yes, it was completely compliant. He gave us 24 hours where they were going to resort to Plan A, which was SWAT team, uh, guns blazing, that kind of a deal. Hi folks, we're here with Maddie. And Maddie, why don't you tell me a little bit about why you came out to the Albion gun protest today? Well, I live here in Orleans County. Uh, I live down the road in Holly. I am a customer of Joe's here. And uh, I am the Western New York Regional Director for New York Revolution. Um, I'm disgusted by what has happened here. Joe is an honest, law-abiding business owner here. He did everything in his capabilities to make sure that he was putting out a product that would be lawful for his customers. Um, he was told over and over, over, over a year, that he was doing fine police in here all the time. And yet, for some reason, they decided to make an example out of him. And this is exactly what New Yorkers across the state can expect to start happening if we do not get Cuomo out of office in November.